Congress has passed the $1.9 trillion COVID relief package. Democrats were able to get enough support despite no Republicans voting for it. The bill now heads to the president's desk and lawmakers will have to defend their position on why they voted the way they did. Ray Bogan reports. The motion is adopted. The new coronavirus relief bill has finally made its way through Congress on a party line vote. It will be President Biden's biggest legislative victory so far, and a package Democrats say is on par with the Affordable Care Act. This bill represents a historic, historic victory for the American people. Republicans did not support the bill because they say it's too expensive and they're against funding continuing for years in the future. The so-called relief bill will end up costing every hardworking taxpayer in America more than five thousand dollars each. They also say there are unrelated and unnecessary items like three hundred fifty billion dollars for state and local governments, two hundred seventy million for arts and humanities and fifty million for environmental justice. Some of these states have actually, you know, like California, they've got billions of dollars more in revenues this year than they had in the previous year. Democrats say the bill will give Americans much needed help with fourteen hundred dollar stimulus checks, $300 a week in added unemployment, and billions for schools. It also includes funding for COVID testing, protective equipment, and vaccines. A top House Democrat accused Republicans of not voting for it to snub President Biden. The virus is still with us. The economy is struggling. But now we have a Democratic president. The White House says President Biden will sign the bill into law Friday. In Washington, Ray Bogan, Fox News.